if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 24 of the Valencia Career Mode series here on FIFA 16. First game, as you can tell, is going to be pretty difficult. Barcelona away from home. Huge tie after yesterday's big game in the league against Sevilla that we lost. And bearing in mind we lost the two games against PSG 1-0 yesterday as well and are now out of the Champions League. I would really like to uh, go for it when it comes to the, uh, the La Liga title and a win against Barcelona is crucial in all fairness if we lose this game we are out of the title race it's just there aren't enough games to return the gap around so we need a, we need a big performance here from what can only be described as a, a weaker side um we've got Bakali up top alongside Abubakar with I think it was Pablo Piatti on the left hand side uh Jao Cancelo at right back has come in for Hugo Mayo got my two starting centre backs though but they were actually caught napping there as uh, they got in behind Barcelona and, well, they were dominant in these opening few stages. You'll be able to tell from the amount of highlights that come in uh, the first 45 that uh, Barcelona were playing their sumptuous stuff as well. You can see the way they're just playing the ball around. Luckily, for me, in these opening few moments, Diego Alves was on hand to make a couple of very important saves. He's made two so far. Jordi Alves plays this inside to uh, Ivan Rakitic. So you see the space here for Lionel Messi down the right-hand side. Going to try and turn his side on his left, as you probably could have predicted he was going to. Another good save by Diego Alves, and the second one just shows good reflexes and reactions to get back up to, uh, you know, to claim the second ball as it was headed towards the back of the net. Here's Pablo Piatti now, though, cutting inside on the left-hand side. We're in their half. We're actually in their half. Santi Mina with a shot, and Claudio Bravo makes a good save at the other end. It would have been uh, pretty harsh if we'd have taken a 1-0 lead there. But look, Barcelona encamped in our half again. Jordi Alba plays the ball over the top here to Andres Iniesta, who lays it off to Luis Suarez. He hits the bar. Fortunately for me, uh, A, Luis Suarez hit the bar, and B, Andre Iniesta was offside when the ball was played, but it was so tight, so tight, because he was definitely uh, half a yard at most offside. So we're into the second half we go. Piatti gets caught on it, but we get a lucky deflection. It goes back to Orban, the left back. Finds Danilo inside. Good first touch football from a couple of players. Into Vincent Abubakar. Now we hit the bar. And Abubakar gets cleaned out there after he's had his shot. And we've seen a couple of times in the RTG series that we've actually gotten penalties from uh, decisions like that. But this time in the Valencia one, nothing giving. Maybe the La Liga referees are slightly more lenient in those scenarios. But Abubakar gets this into uh, Jordi Alba. Not into Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba is the man that gets wiped out by his teammate Jerome Boateng as well as my striker uh, Danilo there. And clearly uh, incensed with Jerome Boateng couldn't quite see what happened there but you see from the second replay here as it comes up uh, Jerome Boateng just throws himself at the ball gets nowhere near it wipes out Danilo and Jordi Elba it's a clear penalty and uh, we do actually get the spot kick Vincent Abubakar has the best penalty taking in this side although it's only 77 wasn't too comfortable to be honest taking this so I decided to just put it straight down the middle and hope that Bravo dove out the way he almost stumbled out of the way more than anything else but he was not in the way, which is the most important thing. We have a 1-0 lead at the Camp Nou. Zachariah Bacali racing down the right-hand side into Santi Mina. Good strength to hold off Sergio Roberto. Or Sergio Roberto, sorry. His shot is blocked well by PK, And it just trickles towards that bottom corner. But unluckily for me, it's uh, the wrong side of the post. It just didn't quite spin enough to uh, sneak in that bottom corner. Barca coming forward with 15 minutes to go. Looking to get themselves an equaliser here. Battle of pace and strength between Messi and Orban. Lionel Messi wins, unsurprisingly. Ball comes in, lovely over a head kick attempt. Fortunately for me, the follow-up effort from Danny Elvis goes over the top of the bar. If he'd have scored an overhead kick there from the edge of the box, that would have been one of the best goals we've ever had scored against us on any FIFA series ever. Luckily for me, defender was in the way and it got blocked. Gerard Piquet on the ball here, looking to get Barca back in it. Lofty ball over the top, which is very un esque but it drops for Neymar. And that is not what you expect from the Brazilian. A really loose shot that flies high and wide. And we get a 1-0 win away from home at the Nou Camp. I did not see that coming when I set that side out to go and play that game. We just played fantastically well. We got so lucky as well. A couple of very good saves from Diego Alves. A couple of... Uh, borderline offline, de offline decisions as well meant that we were able to get three points and that victory keeps our title hopes alive. We now have to play Ibar at home in the pouring rain. Much stronger lineup as you can see here played at this in this one and uh, hopefully Paco Vera, uh, Vela and uh, Rodrigo 
can give us a, a decent attacking front line this time. And maybe we could pick up a couple of goals as well. Uh, not that goal difference really matters because it comes down to head to head in La Liga, but still, just for uh, peace of mind and to you know keep confidence high going into the last few games. If we can go, go on a run of wins and big wins at that, then uh, you know we can hopefully go on a bit of a roll and fly up the table. Parejo tries to bend that one into the top corner, but it's a good block by the defender and uh, that makes it fly high and wide. Nothing came from the corner, but Carlos Bella comes down the uh, right-hand side here. Works it back to his right back. Mayo, Mayo gets it into Thiago, to Andre Gomez, to Rodrigo. Round the outside, he's left-footed, of course, and that's an extremely good finish from the Spaniard to fire us 1-0 in front after 20 minutes, almost exactly on the 20-minute mark, in fact. A very good finish from him. Pleased that we have an early 1-0 lead. That kind of set my uh, my nerves aside. Lovely ball over the top here, actually, for Andre Gomez. First touch took him a little bit wide, which made the angle to have the shot a little bit more difficult. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to get it on target, so we stay just 1-0 in front for now. Ibar started to play some nice football, actually. They decided that, you know what, we're wearing Barcelona's colours, so why don't we play some Barcelona-style football? They get really lucky with the way it drops to Eddie there but fortunately for me his shot was pretty wild just slashed at it as he probably wasn't expecting it to drop to his feet there still in the first half Andre Gomez into Thiago Alcantara so much space for Carlos Bella on this left hand side or right hand side sorry cuts inside onto his left foot plays it inside to Paco first touch takes it around the goalkeeper as he'd already committed to coming out opened up the angle and we have ourselves a 2-0 lead thank you very much Paco it's exactly what we needed with uh, Ibar starting to get themselves a little bit more confidence coming forward Rodrigo though picks them off Picks their pocket in the final third. Andre Gomez works it around. Carlos Bella makes a brilliant run in behind. Looking to finesse it with his left foot. Can't get there. Good block by the defender. Tries the extravagant overhead kick and it goes just wide. I think the keeper actually may have turned it around the post for a corner. But as you can tell, we're well into the second half now. So nothing came from that. Uh, Ibar again deciding that, you know what, Barcelona Cunners. Barcelona colours, time for Barcelona football. Playing it around really nicely. Andre Kappa plays it back inside here and that deserved a goal. I would not have minded if they'd scored that. That was a brilliant move from I, but unfortunately for them, not able to get one. They needed two and, uh, well, we get three points again. Thank you very much. Third and final game of the episode. Away from home against Getafe, the, uh, the third biggest side in Madrid. You've got Real, Atleti, Getafe and Rayo Vallecano. So uh, we're currently in fourth, and it's so close. Th three points between fifth and first, as with four games remaining in the season. The title race is so it's ridiculous. It's been like this all year long. Definitely the most competitive title race we've seen in all of FIFA 16 so far. And uh, a difficult side to play against. They've got uh, Waiter in goal as well, formerly of Valencia. So we know that he's a quality goalkeeper. Good reflexes, good diving. We're going to have to be very uh, specific with where we're putting our shots. Very... Uh, clinical perhaps shall we say with our finishing if we want to get ourselves a good result here away from home uh, starting a rotation side the fixer list has been very very busy so uh, hopefully I think I can't quite remember what the fixer list looks like for the last three games of the season I think uh, we get a week's break between all three I think actually I'll show the fixer list at the end so we'll be able to refresh my memory but Pablo Piatti gives us a great 1-0 lead with the first chance of the game after 33 minutes very good shot very powerful shot. I think that was the only reason that it went past the uh, the goalkeeper. Just too much power on it. He would have gotten up to it had it floated towards that top corner, but the uh, the the power on it just fired it into that top bin, and uh, nothing he could do about it. So one 0 lead. Hatafe on the attack, as you can see here. But Diego Alves comes and claims the uh, the corner. We're going to clear it away. Uh, Santimina brings it down here. He's only one on one. Races past the defender. He's not the fastest, but shows great feet to turn inside. Then he's just getting pulled back by not one but two defenders. Gets slightly lucky with. Uh, the way it breaks to him off the next two defenders but brilliant finish Santi Mina with the most determined run I've seen from a player on FIFA 16 in a very very long time just would not give up turn inside one tried to race away got his shirt tugged turn inside two got his shirt tugged by another two players get slowly lucky with the way he tackles a couple of players to get the ball back but then a very good finish and again probably just the power on the shot that took it past the keeper same with Pablo Piatti's effort really pleased though to have another 2-0 lead here in a game we get slightly lucky with the way that uh, that comes back off the bar and then I don't think there was a foul in there and then man was probably about to put it into the back of the net so slightly fortuitous circumstances give us a or keep us with a 2-0 lead Kala though is going to play the ball down the line here to Skopovic who's got a little bit of space to run in 
trying to. Stefan then whips it in, and Diego Elvis just completely flattens both players there, just punches the ball clear, just was just determined. No one is um, causing any danger to my goal here. We're getting it out. Unfortunately, as uh, Cancelo's pass is picked off by Skopovic, he gets it into the box. Kala could have scored a fantastic effort, but similar to Neymar's last final chance of the Barcelona game, just slices at it. It goes well wide, almost hit the corner flag there. We get another 2-0 uh, victory. So 1-0 against Barcelona, 2-0 against uh, Ibar, 2-0 against Hatafe. We get a week's break to Sevilla, a week's break to Real Madrid, and a, a two-week break, or just over a week's break, to uh, Real Sociedad. So we are a point off the top of the table. Sociedad are a point behind us. Sevilla are on 67 as well, but can go top if they win their game in hand. Real are also on 67 points. So we have to play... Real Madrid, who are fifth. We have to play Real Sociedad, who are third. You can't script it. You just cannot script it. It's ridiculously close, and we have to play two of the sides that we're challenging for the title in the final episode on Monday. It's going to be so, so tight. I'm really excited to record that episode. Hopefully, you guys are excited to see it as well. That will obviously come to you on Monday, as this is Friday's episode. There will be a career mode RTG tonight and a stream as well, so feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Drop this video a like if you uh, haven't to this point, and definitely check the channel page for anything you may have missed. I think sub boxes have been playing up, so because view levels have been ridiculously low the past few days, so definitely check the channel page for anything you may have missed. Uh, obviously, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Check the uh, the Twitch link and the Twitter links in the description down below. Best way to stay up to date with me uh, is on Twitter, so definitely do that. It's on your screen as well, but for now, that's all from me. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.